got my safety glasses because today we're going to try the wood chipper to see if it'll blow these chips uphill. Now I've got my little train of trailers connected here. It works pretty good. Um, so far I haven't did anything on this wood chipper I can't reverse. I got a hunch if it really worked blowing uphill very good. Troy built would have designed something for that. Well, what do I know? We won't know until we try. If I fail and this thing won't blow the chips clear of the chipper blowing uphill, well, I'll just have to reverse everything I've done. I haven't made anything that permanent that I can't put it back the way it belongs. So today we're going to do a short wood chip blowing contest and it'll get everything set up here. Friends, I haven't bolted my chute up at all. First test is to see if it'll blow uphill just out of that thing right there. We should see a rooster tail of chips coming out. And I'll have to look and see if any settled back in there, if they all blew out. I have not bolted this on in any form. Hopefully I can just hold it on there. See how it blows blowing out of there. I'll go find some vice grips. First, I gotta get this booger bear running. I've chopped a few limbs here. I don't know why I'm wearing a flannel shirt. I'm working up a sweat doing all this work. Alright, first things first, let's see if we can get her running. Let's see if I got it on rabbit or turtle rabbit.
Well, my friends, it looks like I got the power to blow it. I don't see nothing worried about down in there. It all blew out, and I'm wearing half of it. It's all over me. I'm gonna have to go get in a shower. I got, I had a stand out here in a snowstorm of wood a while ago. Some of it stayed up in there, but it's pretty dang obvious. We got to cut a square hole in here and put a screen on it to let the air pressure out. Because that air was coming back out of that trailer faster than it was going in. I held the chute down there. It was a little difficult to shove limbs in there and hold the chute on there too. Trying to see would they stay in the trailer. I think I got plenty of power to make an extension for this thing. And move my chute up about that high. I got some scrap plywood in there. When that air goes in there, it's got to get out somewhere without coming back out the back door. Or at least relieve the pressure on it somewhere. It ain't coming out quite so bad. Well, there's not many tree, uh, not many wood chips, but we'll drive out to the pile and dump that huge, humongous load. Well, we got 10, 15 pounds of chips in there. I'd say a third of them was getting in there. Dump this really large load of wood chips. <laughs> 